Credit score. It's kind of a Pandora's box, really. There's so many things that influence it and sometimes it gets really confusing. You're making all of your payments on time and your credit score drops and it, it doesn't make any sense at all. Well, it doesn't until you understand what goes into your credit score. Keep in mind, bankers and everybody else are coming up with some arbitrary way of trying to determine whether you're a credit risk or not. And so the, the many factors that go in there, one of them is length of credit. And so if you've got a credit card and you pay it off and then you cancel it and you go get another one, you just blew the amount of time that you had on that credit card. If you want a different credit card, just leave the one that you paid off, throw it in the trash can, shred it, well shred it, get rid of it, right? So that's part of the length of credit. Another thing is your balance. So throughout the month as you charge things on your credit card, let's just say you have a thousand dollar limit, any time that your balance exceeds 30%, that's a good, good number, right? 50% not so good, 30% is good. Any time it exceeds 30%, or in this case $300, your credit store score starts to drop. So if your balance when you get your statement is $200, but you've been charging all along the rest of the month at, at regular, you know, you might go up to 300, and then your 200 posts, you drop down to 100, right? But if your, your statement is $300, that doesn't mean that's what your balance is showing or what's been reported to the credit bureau. So pay attention to that. If you're having troubles with that, just pay your bill off early before the, uh, the statement is printed. That will help you with it. Of course, if you don't make your payments on time, ah, that's pretty bad. So you've got to do that first. If you're not doing that, that's the first place to start. And there's so many other places you can look online that give you all kinds of tips and tricks, but those are some of the ones that, that people miss or don't even think about because they're kind of hidden. Uh, but you've got to have a good credit score and it's totally going to help you get the best interest rate possible and or just get you the loan so that you can actually get a house.